she got it juice. I got your juicy entertainment news for Thursday. You know, we've been talking about NFTs all week. Uh, non-fungible tokens. And what are they? Simply digital art that is bought and sold with cryptocurrency. That has become a billion-dollar business. Everyone's jumping on the train. We talked about our very own Alan Pacino Wallace, who released a series of, a series of NFTs of his artwork. Uh, that will be auctioned off on the FTX Crypto Exchange, who are headquartered right here in NASA. This is pretty exciting. And um, also yesterday, Quentin Tarantino getting ready to auction off some Pulp Fiction NFTs. And now Quincy Jones is doing the same. Uh, he will be auctioning off a series of Whitney Houston NFTs called the Whitney Houston One of Collection, which includes thousands of affordable, fixed-priced NFTs, gold and platinum items that will feature rarely seen archival photos from her early life and career designed as colorful and vibrant animations that create mesmerizing digital scrapbook effects plus it will also feature her early never before heard full-length song demo recording that she made at the age of 17 now that recording will go for auction in december details will be revealed on december 1st at one of dot world which is a two-day immersive art music and nft experience during miami art week and all pro Proceeds from the sales of the collection will go to the Whitney E. Houston Foundation, which is a nonprofit which continues to work um, and empower, support, and inspire young people, which I think is so fantastic. I love that Quincy's doing that. R. Kelly's associate, Michael Williams, was sentenced to eight years in prison yesterday for setting a car on fire to intimidate a witness against R. Kelly. Now, it's uh, He traveled to Florida in June of 2020 and set the car on fire, which was outside of the home of the witness. Now, the witness was not named in court, but it was also June 2020 when Azriel Clary, yes, one of R. Kelly's girlfriends, came forward with the shocking news that someone had set fire to her vehicle. She said she was targeted by the arsonist who also poured gasoline around the perimeter of her home. And then it was later reported that R. Kelly's associate, Michael Williams, was facing charges related to intimidation and destroying a vehicle by means of fire. Now, they still haven't named anybody, but we're pretty sure it was her. Now, this is where your browser history can get you in trouble. Upon investigating Williams, it was found that he had searched online for information related to detonation properties of fertilizer and deal diesel fuel as well as witness and witness tampering and he also reportedly looked up which countries do not have extradition uh, extradition agreements with the United States so he pretty much put himself in that position eight years uh, a few days ago Chris Tucker was talking about why he turned down the Friday sequels well today he probably wished that he had done one of those sequels because he could have really used that cash right now it was reported today that Chris Tucker owes Drum roll, please. $9.6 million to the IRS and back taxes. How do you owe $9.6 million? That's insane. Um, he owes back taxes, penalties, and interest. And now they're taking him to court. Now, in the lawsuit... He uh, is facing questions about finances stretching back to 2002, which was the peak of his career. And it states in the lawsuit that he was one of the biggest stars in Hollywood. Now, he had a previously attempted to pay off his debt. He set up three monthly installment plans, but they all fell through for various reasons. Now, in 2002, the IRS claims that Chris Tucker owed about $4.6 million, but only reported and paid half. And then did the same thing again in 2006. Now, in 2008, they alleged that he only paid 127,000 but owed 2.4 million. And then in 2010, he only paid four grand of the 480 grand that he owed. So, needless to say, Chris Tucker is not looking good right now, and he just might end up like Wesley Snipes. Oh boy, that's what it's all about. Your juicy entertainment news. Lock it in again tomorrow for more of the juice. I hope Chris Tucker gets some money. Got some junior mafia for you, taking you back. Kiss 96.